In today's gospel, Jesus, for the third time, tells his disciples about what he must do to endure the passion, that he has to be, be betrayed by his fellow disciples, that he has to suffer and die. And still they don't understand. They don't, they're clueless about what he meant. When we talk to God in prayer, our prayers often find us asking for what we want. Many times in our prayers, the answer, and they are always answered, we don't understand, just like the disciples. We don't understand, we don't believe, or perhaps we just want what we want. As we grow in awareness of our, of our relationship with God, we realize how God wants something greater for us. He wants us to be the best version of ourselves. In other words, it may appear that he asks us to forget what we asked him, uh, let go of the things we want, but then we realize that he's offering more. He's offering that nothing is lost in God, that he's offering more. Isn't that what Lent is all about? We are changing our lives to the will of God, to the will of becoming what God wants us to be, to follow the path and the plan that God has de derived for us. To follow the path that God's plan has for each of us. Jesus was clear about his relationship with God. He knew who he was, and what he was supposed to do. I pray, Lord, help me to know more clearly what is your will, what is mine to do, and what I must leave to you. If you're like, like James and John in today's gospel, uh, seeking a place of honor, sitting at the right hand and the left hand of God in his kingdom, you need to earn it. You need to earn the following God's you need to earn it by following God's plan for you. You needed to earn it by being the best possible version of yourself. So if you want to share in Jesus' kingdom, a place of honor in the kingdom of heaven, Jesus simply asks, can you drink the cup that I drink? In other words, have you earned it? This Lent is becoming a conversion experience. Is it for you? If not, there's still time. God bless.